In this video, we will look at solving exponential equations that have binomial exponents. As we do, we must remember that when multiplying exponents, we may have to distribute onto each term. Let's take a look at some examples where we do this. In this problem, we've got bases of 8 and 16 that we want to match. You may notice that we can rewrite 8 as an exponential expression, 2 to the 3rd power. We still have 2x minus 4 on the 8. Equals, we can write 16 also with a base of 2. It's 2 to the 4th power, with an x plus 3 outside. We next need to combine our exponents together by multiplying them. As we do, it's important to remember that we don't just multiply the 3 by the 2x, but also by the negative 4. This gives us 2 to the 6x minus 12. Distributing on the second side will give us 2 to the 4x plus 12. Now, you'll notice that we've got the same base on both sides. When the bases are the same, we can set the exponents equal to each other. We can say 6x minus 12 is equal to 4x plus 12. And now we can start solving the remaining equation. Moving the variables to the same side, we subtract 4x from both sides. This gives us 2x minus 12 equals 12. Adding 12 to both sides gives us 2x equals 24. And finally, we divide both sides by 2 to find out x, in this exponential equation, is equal to 12. Let's take a look at another example where we have to distribute as we work to get a common base on both sides, so we can set the exponents equal. In this problem, you might notice we can write both with a common base of 5. The 1 over 25 can be written with a base of 5. 5 squared is 25, and the fraction is created if the exponent is negative. We will write this as 5 to the negative 2, keeping the 3x minus 1 on the outside. The 125 is 5 to the 3rd power, keeping the 4x plus 2 on the outside. Now, as we start combining, the exponents will have to distribute onto each term. This gives us 5 to the negative 6x plus 2 equals 5 to the 12x plus 6. Again, we have the same base on both sides. When we have the same base, we can grab the exponents and say the exponents are equal. Negative 6x plus 2 is equal to the 12x plus 6. Now we're ready to start solving for x. We can move the variables to the same side by adding 6x to both. 2 equals 18x plus 6. Subtracting 6 from both sides, we get negative 8... Oops, negative 4, sorry, is equal to 18x. Finally, dividing both sides by 18 and reducing, we end up with x is equal to negative 2 ninths. These equations are easily solved by getting the same base on both sides as an exponential expression, and then distributing our exponents and setting those exponents equal.